Welcome to the Rune Terra Reforged Championship. We have 32 players coming through from all of the regions all around the world. It's surreal. Like I've been casting TFT since set one. I think it means a lot to me as like a lifelong esports fan. The changing stage, when I walked in here, I just stared at it for like a good two minutes straight. So it's pretty neat to see all the regions come to life in this kind of unique way. Let us see the frontline melt so quick. Oh, oh, what is that? Oh, it's going to be a oh, 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 Guaranteed third place finisher. Oh, 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 I want everyone that's watching to know that this guy nailed it today. This guy knows so many strategies at once and he's nailing every single one in this tournament. Man, am I a fan. This guy's good. Like, I love <laughs> that's that's not a question. Oh, yeah, and uh, do you know that your hair is perfect? <laughs> Thank you so much, baby. Thank you. Uh, oh, uh, yeah, it was pretty crazy. I don't think anyone could have knew exactly what to expect. Oh, what? Well. Moldog knew exactly what to expect. Yeah, see, I think the one big name to mention is maybe Piva. He's someone that's been rank one global, dominated the SCA qualifiers until the very end where Foman was actually the one to win. And I think Korea was the other big standout. They've been kind of pushed aside as a lower region for a while, and so to see them come back strong, I think was really interesting. Of course, I have to be hype about North America also having most of our players in the, the top but half. Of you guys are killing it, but that, that's for sure. I re really, really hope that last time actually comes back on top, fingers crossed. Welcome back to the Terror Report Championship Day number two. Uh, Takes out the Quinn. Uh, There's nothing uh, left. It's just an ace drop. For Weijin, the Bruisers are so tanky. <laughs> Weijin Iverson gonna find another first place. I'm happy. I don't know, you happy, Dan? <laughs> oh, I'm ecstatic, but also not surprised. I think North America clearly are the favorites. Enough damage already. The board has been deleted. Tech Summers wins that last fight as they're now taken down in second place. Latam on top for this game. Uh, Latam player actually played pretty well there, you know? I guess they're good. I mean, we're at good three in a throw. Oh, oh that was a fast <laughs> fight. That was a nice 9-0. I don't know how much damage. On the world stage, he's going up here. The board is evaporating. Kermex is getting swept away. Red Jungler needed a first place in this game here to make it to day three. And Wet Jungler did it. And I couldn't be giddier about it. Uh, I want to shout out to everybody who went to the level up in Berlin. It's pretty amazing. I can uh, always hear the um, crowd cheering and they are um, supporting me uh, as well a lot. Uh, I guess I also want to give a bonus shout out to Ladam. They actually end up doing a really good job in getting uh, Alta through to the top eight, as well as having deep runs by players like Michael. Not to mention that when it comes to North America, we tend to go back to back on the global stage. So I think it's going to be a two-time repeat for North America. CN is very interesting because coming to this set nine the qualification phase, it seemed like a lot of CN analysts were thinking, oh, Maybe CN is not going to send their best players. In the end, CN proved they're still probably at the forefront of the meta and of the kind of regional strengths. I am Korean, so I'm a bit sad that Korea did go out, but that's because all the other regions prepared really well for the tournament. Of course, mentioning Brazil, SEA, and OC are two regions that are just so loving and so like big on the community end that the fact that they're not making it makes me so sad. This beautiful trophy is the one that the winner is going to get after the end of day number three. Aatrox, Challenger Aatrox, World Ender, gonna take the win. But I'm looking at that Aatrox, he's been an absolute animal in these fights with the Bloodthirster, it's there, it's plenty. And there's the win for Wet Jungler in game number one of the final. Keep you guys updated as we go. Wet Jungler came in first, Shogun in second, and Wajin Iverson in third, and Title in fourth, of course. The Nas is put Whoa. on a butt. The snipe, it's just Bump. win two. No, oh. not enough, but Volta lives on two HP. The respawn is nothing at all. It's one more cast, maybe you can swing it. She misses for the honor, no. and Volta takes the L. Double kill for Title. Someone else ended up on the top on the back of Aid Void. Mordekaiser does stay strong. He's at the forefront. He's taking everything. And Title does not only make check, but he makes it with a first place. So there's going to be two things to pay attention to. One, 
is Taito going to win the World Championship in four <laughs> games? Uh, the second thing is, how are the other players going to try to deny that while also trying to play for their own top four oriented spy? I think right now, though, all Taito is doing is he's going to Lost Streak and use that to inform his decision and spike with all this gold. Versus oh. Quinn Aatron versus Quinn Velvet. Wow! That's the win there. Title down to seven HP. But she's fallen! She's faltered so that the Mordecai's are, but it will not be enough! Hong Leon will fall on the back of this, and Tidal is your Rune Terra Reforged World Champion! I don't think anyone was expecting four games when we started here. Wow, uh, all right, four games! Tidal actually was uh, competing for set seven. He comes from Japan, which isn't really a TFT popular region, so he actually practiced by himself. So I think that in an infrastructure where you're not offered much information, I think Tidal is a genius to be able to pull that off by himself. I really am proud of not just, you know, the cast of the production, but the entire organization. They really show tender love and care, TLC, towards TFT. And I think it really has resulted in growth in the scenes for everything they touch. And I really wish them best luck moving forward. That has been it from us. And we hope you tune in on the 8th of December for the Vegas Open. And thank you so much for watching. And we're going to see you guys again the next time, hopefully.